And with more mm-hmm. people participating in the marquee event, which is the 100 meter dash, that's more mm-hmm. opportunities for stars to emerge and records to come yeah. fall down. And the fact that we haven't had that since 1988, I think is a sign that this is an incredible record. You know, this is not a record that's hidden in the one hour uh, world record or the 13.48K record or the 50 meter dash or whatever. So the fact that it's been there for so long and it is on top of that, the marquee event shows the gravity of this 10.49 that Flojo holds. It has so much gravity. Some people don't even want to believe it's real, right? Some people want to think that it's when they did and it's not a, a legitimate world record, et cetera. I think that just goes to the aura of this time. Aura. That's not even the right word. I'm just saying, making up words right now. It just you goes. Know, aura might have worked. Just, aura might have worked there. It just, Stick yeah. Stick with it. It just shows how incredible of a moment we're living in, seeing two women go after what we thought was an unbreakable record. And they're both really close. And we still have yeah. more races to come. And basically, we have two more shots at it. And we're getting closer, right? We're getting closer. So Yeah. And again, even if they never get it, don't take for granted the fact that it's actually happening. I brought up Bolt and Blake before on the last show. Anthony in the chat says they're doing better than Bolt and Blake. They used to duck each other. Yeah. Look at this. All time in the 100. They met eight times. Eight times. Can that be real? Across seven years. You'd, you'd think at least a Jamaican, years. but a Jamaican champs, you'd think they at least faced off against each other more than that. I guess they were given some buys. So eight times across from 2010 to 2017. And we're talking about, we might see them, Fraser Price and Thompson are off seven times just in one season to give you a point of comparison. So, and the gap between Fraser Price and Thompson Hurrah is smaller than it was between Bolt and Blake, but this is kind of the sort of thing we could have gotten if Bolt and Blake raced each other a whole bunch of times. And at the time, and I didn't forget this because at the time I made a mental note. I said, Kevin, remember this because you're gonna come back to it several years. You had people arguing that Bolt and Blake not racing each other was actually good for the sport because it made us anticipate those matchups. And I said at the time, no, because what if those matchups never happen? What if they never materialize? You want to race when they're both ready because you can never guarantee that next year they're both going to be healthy. And then what happened? Blake got injured. And then you go from 2012 to 2016 when they don't race each other at all. So I give immense credit to Thompson Hurrah and Fraser Price for putting it on the line, going for the world record, putting the reputations out there, not worried about taking losses, but just straight up going for it. Everybody wants to see it, and they're giving it to them every single week now in the, in the Diamond League and this whole season. This has been the season, you know, the women's 100, the through line, starting back in the late spring now, and we're all the way into August, Gordon, and we're still talking about the women's 100.